b b b b package So be all your boy here here doing another unboxing video sent to me by Fab by Uncle 3 I believe sorry I forgot wrong bro um that name right there his YouTube channel is gonna be below there's right there uh, I'm not sick you know it's just algae season I had him horribly since last Thursday saw him made Spider-Man 2 had him again so this would be my third figure I got for free and people say ain't nothing free now I'm spreading the fourth package soon I'm on blowjobs. So, people say ain't nothing free. They were tripping. Oh, see, so yeah, here's some boxing video. Um, have my, I, I just have, you know, certain people that I trust. I don't want to get everybody my trust the whole world. It's in the wrong list, so I just touch the end. So, oh, it's, um, if you're wondering where it is, it's a Marvel Legends TV series. Rocket Raccoon figure, yes, finally got this guy, <clears throat> I know I'm super, super late on this figure, but hey, I don't care, I mean, look, look how awesome he is, look at that, because he asked me if I want a brand new, I use, so I'll take a brand new, I mean, look at this, and all I need is uh, Jean Grey, which I will get eventually, so what is up next, the review on this figure, alright, the review is up in 5, minus 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Hi, it's your boy Dicky here. I'm back on an interview on the Marvel Legends Record Raccoon series to record. Uh, I know this is actually um figure came out sometime last year. But hey, I can tell this because I got it from um I got it from a fellow collector named Fab Bionic 03, I believe. Um sorry if I got it wrong, bro. But his YouTube channel is gonna be below. The channel description is gonna be here below. Um but I'm not saying you know it's just algae season, so <laughs> I'm having a horrible allergies for the past two weeks alone with asthma, so it's when kill me. Well, not kill me, but yeah, you know how it is when you have allergies, and yeah. So this is a really, very good um, figure. I don't have any serious gripes with this figure, um, but yeah, let's get into the detail and paint on it. The paint on it is just really, really nice. I mean, it would seem like when they painted it, they didn't get lazy with it. They just really went all out with it. Like it looks it's everywhere, p detail on the paint. It's going all around it, you know, just really tilted everywhere, you know, going really, really nice on it. From all the way down to even the pegs at the bottom, you know, the paint everywhere, it's just really, really nice. So I, I do like the paint on it, I mean, I really do. You know, so it's a really, really good figure. And the hair articulation, um, the hair cannot, well, it goes up like that. If you want to look up like that, you know. So yeah, so if you want, if you just do a CBA like in uh, maybe if you have a good diorama of a uh, maybe like of a uh, abandoned warehouse or something like that, and you want his head to look up like that, you can do it. If his head can look up like that, but then you don't want to do it too high because the head does pop off, which is you know this is a good thing. So the face sculpt is just really really good. I mean, look how creepy he looks and evil, just like record from um. The Avengers Earth Mercy cartoon. I mean look how evil he looks. Very, very evil. Which is a good thing. And the peg right here at the bottom. And the peg for neck is good. And the reason why the head cannot look all the way up is because of the collar right there. Which is not really a major thing to me. Let's pop that back on there. So the articulation is just really, you know, really pretty decent. Doesn't it does have a some um, decent huh? Have him hold his weapon up more or something. So the articulation, it does have a decent ad crunch that bends forward. You know, and the ad crunch that bends back, but not too, too far, which isn't really nothing serious to me. It does have a uh, double joint knees. And, uh, hold, not hold left forward, hold, not, uh, sorry, not having hold left for a moment. Don't do the elbows. So the articulation is just really, really nice. And like I said, with the paint app, it's just real like they didn't get laser on it. There's no chipping. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about the paint chipping off on it or anything, you know. So it's just really, really nice. And then so, uh, the other accessory, put for a second, that he comes with is the, um, excuse me. Uh, oh, here's the head for the Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, and just one guy. Say what? Say what? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, just one gun right there. So, all I gotta do is get Jean Grey eventually. So, this figure right here, this is really, really nice. I am really happy to have this figure. So, like I said, the detail on this figure is really nice. And, uh, oh yeah, doesn't have a bicep swivel, 
which is not really a major problem with me at all. You know, it's not a major problem at all. But uh, the other character, he's green and yellow, like Iron Fist. I cannot think of his name. He's part of the build a figure, Arlem Zula, or Zula, whatever his name is. Yeah, I'm not sure, too sure if I want to build a build a figure that much. I just want to build it because after the Captain America Winter Soldier, then yeah, that's the only reason why I want to build it. I gotta check out the review online if I want to get it. But like I said, this figure is really, really nice. Uh, the articulation just, you know, it's, it's really good. No, um, doesn't have an ankle pivot, but it does have a little bit of an ankle rocket. It does have um, a toe pivot, which is good. And the Avengers Earth Mice here is a cartoon. They're always going against uh, Thor and Iron Man, Captain America, and the rest of them. So his weapon is his, uh, can't think of this, this weapon right now. Can't think of the name of it. Uh, if you guys know the name of it, please let me know because I cannot, you know, think of it because of my allergies. I'm all not really thinking straight and everything else. So, like I said, he does hold it really, really good too. You know, he holds it very nicely. Uh, gonna try and hold it. Actually, let's get to some high comparison real fast. Um, let's put him back there. Compared to. Or, uh, Pal Driver or Pal Driver, whatever his name is, and that's like oh, I'm saying, I feel like something is missing. Um, put that lay down. That's too, oh, and I'm still not even finished with the Mandrop pieces. I'm missing Black Widow, Aim, Hydra because I hear I can't find an Aim or Hydra. I did see Baron Zemo, but I got Captain America instead. Oh, um, you know his new style costume. And I'm missing uh, Red Skull. So, oh, so if anybody have any Aim, so now. I'm not being cheap. I'm not. So this would be like my third, I'm right, my third figure that I got for free. I'm going on my, this right here, third figure that I got for free. And I'm getting a fourth one for free soon by um, Bill Joe's. Um, the ultimate Green Goblin head and fire for that. Now I got everybody, pretty much everybody that's on YouTube, I think has the Superior Spider-Man. I'm just not between Dr. Tavius' mind into Peter Parker's body or whatever. So I'm going to get that eventually. So this will be like a really good ACBA if like, you know, if he has, let me think, you know, if he has, you know, his uh, weapon like that, and the other guy, um, what's his name, the Wrecker, uh, no, not the Wrecker, uh, that's what he has, Wrecker, Power Driver, and Bulldozer, yeah, all I need is Bulldozer, Bulldozer. I think he comes out this year, I've seen Customs, but I want the red one, and I think, uh, the other guy with the same color costume is Iron Fist, green and yellow. I do not know his name right now. I can't think of his name. So if you know his name, please let me know. I gotta pick him up eventually on Amazon. So yeah, so this is, like I said, this figure right here on the record is really, really nice. It does have some decent poses. Doesn't really have an angle pivot. Well, like I said, which is not really nothing really serious to me. It's toe pivot. It's cool. So all I'm missing this other bad guy that goes on the other side right there. And yeah, so this is my review. Hope you guys enjoy it. And again, um, thank you so much to, hope I'm getting it right this time, um, Fab, Bionic, um, Bionic O3, I believe. Sorry, if I, again, if I got it wrong, bro. So, shout out to him. His channel script is going to be below. And I guys hope you enjoyed this review. And, uh, like I said, I'm still missing pieces for the Mandroid. Um, I'm missing pieces for the Sentinel. That's all I got for the setting though. I'm supposed to get the left leg in, left leg from another collector months ago, but it never came in. So I never bothered, you know, contacted him back. Um, so if you guys have any extra pieces, or if you guys feel like, yo, I want to give it the gear, you know, a figure for free, because he's a cool collector like that, you know, and I, I would just really appreciate that. Hit me up with a PM. I'll oh, you give you my PO box or my home address for the figure. Um, uh, yeah, I don't want everybody out there in the world know where I live, so I might start putting my. If you guys think I should put my um, PO box on my YouTube channel, please let me know. It would be creepy to come home one day and it's 271 subscribers at my place. That would be really freaky, you know? So I really don't want that. Because you guys know all my unboxing videos, I always tied my address. So yeah, so. Uh, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and this is a really, really good figure. Like I said, so you guys should do yourself a favor and pick it up. And before, oh, actually, I'm going to end this review because I have a little prop.
that I made for the record and uh, power driver or whatever. Whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and please check out Babylon 03, I believe. His channel description, like I said, already below. And like I said, I'm just missing the other, the other guys, green and yellow costume and uh and bulldozer. That's gonna come out I think this year, then I'll be all good for these for those villains. I'm missing a whole bunch of other characters for legend villains. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys later and I'm out and Peace.